First, phishing. It is like a con artist wearing your bank's logo. Hackers craft emails, texts, or even social media DMs that look legit. Urgent Netflix payment alerts, fake Amazon order confirmations, or your account has been hacked. Warnings. The goal? Panic you into clicking malicious links or handing over passwords. Spear phishing takes it further. Attackers research you, your job, hobbies, even your dog's name, to make scams hyper-personalized. In 2021, a phishing campaign impersonating UPS delivery notifications stole credit card details from millions. How to survive? Remember, legit companies won't ask for your password via email. Second malware, the silent digital parasite. It is malicious software that infects devices like a silent plague. Viruses attached to clean files and spread. The 2000 I Love You virus caused $15 billion in damage by masquerading as a love note. Ransomware locks your files in a digital cage until you pay up. Like the 2017 WannaCry attack that crippled hospitals and demanded Bitcoin. Spyware hides in the shadows, logging keystrokes to steal passwords. The Pegasus spyware even hijacked WhatsApp calls to spy on journalists. Malware sneaks in via infected email attachments, fake software updates, or even compromised USB drives. To protect yourself, use antivirus software, avoid pirated downloads, and never plug in random USB sticks you found in a parking lot. Third, social engineering. It is hacking people, not computers. It's all about exploiting trust, fear, or greed. Imagine a caller claiming to be Microsoft support, warning about a virus on your PC. They'll fix it if you grant remote access. Or a colleague emailing a fake invoice labeled urgent pay now. In 2020, hackers posing as Twitter IT staff tricked employees into giving access to internal tools, leading to the Elon Musk Bitcoin scam. Quid pro quo attacks promise rewards, free iTunes codes for login details. Fourth, DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service. This attack is like hiring 10 million bots to crowd a store until it collapses. Hackers use botnets, armies of infected devices like security cameras or smart fridges, to flood a website with traffic. The 2016 Mirai botnet hijacked 600,000 IoT devices with default passwords to take down Twitter, Reddit, and Spotify. There are three flavors, volumetric, overloading bandwidth, protocol, exploiting server weaknesses, and application layer, crashing login pages. To fight back, use Cloudflare or AWS Shield for DDoS protection and always change default passwords on routers and smart gadgets. Fifth, SQL injection. It is a hacker's skeleton key for databases. By inputting malicious code into website fields, like search bars or login forms, attackers trick servers into spilling secrets. For example, typing this into a password field might trick the database into granting access, because one equals one is always true. In 2009, hacker Albert Gonzalez used SQL injection to steal 130 million credit card numbers from Heartland payment systems. So, developers, listen up. Sanitize inputs with parameterized queries. For everyone else, avoid sketchy websites and never reuse passwords. Sixth, zero days. They are secret software flaws that even the vendor doesn't know about, giving hackers a day zero head start. These exploits are gold, sold for millions on dark web markets like Zerodium. Governments hoard them for cyber warfare. The Stuxnet worm, which sabotaged Iran's nuclear program, used four zero days to spread via USB drives and cripple centrifuges. How to dodge them? Enable auto updates, patches fix vulnerabilities, and use advanced threat detection tools like CrowdStrike. And remember, unpatched software is a hacker's playground. Seventh, deepfakes. They use AI to clone voices and faces with eerie precision. Scammers deepfake CEOs to approve fraudulent wire transfers. A UK firm lost $243,000 to a fake CEO call. Political deepfakes spread fake speeches to manipulate elections. To spot them, look for unnatural eye movements, mismatched lip syncing, or robotic voice tones. Tools like Adobe's Project Morpheus can detect them. 8. Cryptojacking. It is when hackers hijack your device's CPU to mine Bitcoin or Monero. Your computer slows to a crawl and your electricity bill spikes. The Smominru botnet infected 500,000 machines, earning $3.6 million in Monero. Hackers spread it via malicious ads, hacked WordPress plugins, or even YouTube videos. To protect yourself, use ad blockers like uBlock Origin, monitor CPU usage, and keep software updated. If your fan's whirring like a jet engine for no no reason, investigate. Ninth, MIT M. A MITM attack is like a spy listening to your phone call. Hackers intercept unsecured communications between you and a website, often on public Wi Fi. For example, logging into your bank at a coffee shop, a hacker could steal your session cookies or modify transactions midair. In 2017, 
Equifax's weak HTTPS setup allowed Mitiam attacks during their massive breach. To fight back, always use VPNs on public networks, check for HTTPS in URLs, and avoid sensitive tasks on free Wi-Fi. Tenth, brute force. It is a hacker's trial and error rampage. They use automated tools to guess passwords, starting with password one, two, three, and escalating to every possible combo. The 2012 LinkedIn breach exposed 117 million passwords because people used weak ones like LinkedIn123. Rainbow tables, pre-computed password hashes, make this faster. Protect yourself. Use 12 plus character passwords with symbols. Enable two-factor authentication and never reuse passwords. 11th, credential stuffing, the password domino effect. Credential stuffing exploits our bad habit of reusing passwords. Hackers take leaked credentials from one breach, for example, MySpace, and stuff them into other sites like your Gmail and PayPal. In 2018, hackers used this to breach MyFitnessPal, accessing 150 million accounts. Bots test thousands of logins per second, use unique passwords for every account. Yes, even that sketchy forum. Twelfth, watering hole attacks. It target groups by infecting websites they frequent. For example, hackers breached a popular crypto news site in 2020 to plant malware, infecting thousands of traders. In 2013, the Forbes Thought of the Day plugin was hacked to target defense industry readers. Why it works? Because trusted sites equals lowered guard. And to stay safe, keep browsers, shh, plugins updated, use ad blockers, and scan downloads with virus total. Thirteenth, SIM swapping. It is when hackers convince your carrier to port your number to their SIM card. Once they control your number, they reset passwords via SMS. In 2019, the CEO of Twitter had his SIM hijacked. They do it with social engineering, plus bribing telecom insiders. To protect yourself, ditch SMS-based two-factor authentication. Use Google Authenticator or hardware keys. Set a PIN with your carrier to block unauthorized transfers. Fourteenth, keylogging. Keyloggers are digital stalkers that record every keystroke you make. Passwords, credit card numbers, even embarrassing Google searches. Hackers install them via malware, malicious links, or even hardware dongles plugged into your PC. The Zeus banking Trojan used keylogging to drain millions from accounts by stealing online banking credentials. In 2015, a keylogger hidden in a Starbucks gift card stealer app targeted coffee lovers. Use anti-keylogging software like Spy Shelter, enable on-screen keyboards for sensitive inputs, and never install sketchy browser extensions. 15. DNS Spoofing DNS spoofing tricks your browser into visiting fake websites by corrupting your DNS cache. Imagine typing google.com but landing on a clone that steals your login. In 2014, hackers spoofed DNS servers to redirect users in China to malicious copies of GitHub and Microsoft. Hackers poison DNS records to point legit domains to their IP addresses. Use DNS over HTTPS like Cloudflare, check for HTTPS padlocks, and avoid public Wi-Fi for sensitive tasks. Pro tip, bookmark critical sites to avoid typos.